So one of the things that is coming up is CCA's annual convention. You guys are starting October 21st and all virtual. Uh, so there is an agenda available online. Uh, lots of good topics. Uh, maybe you can take us through some of the highlights of the programming. I know 5G is obviously top of mind sort of across the industry right now, but that doesn't mean 4G is going away. Uh, so talk a little bit about how uh, CCA is striking a balance between forward-looking discussions and, and maybe things that are potentially higher priority short-term goals around things like Bolte, IMS, RCS. Uh, you know, how are you guys balancing that? Thank you for raising the issue of, of the virtual show. And we are uh, pleased that uh, you guys are joining us in that effort and we'll be uh, transmitting the, uh, the keynote sessions for that event. And uh, yes, it's, it's, it's historical for us. We've never done this before, but I must admit uh, with this type of planning, we're, we're working on a really good uh, uh, pre panel of presentations uh, across the board. Uh, you know, Senator Wicker has already uh, agreed to, to make a presentation and uh, Commissioner Carr uh, is going to be front and center uh, with one of the keynotes. <clears throat> Our pinnacle sponsors are all coming to the table and, and bringing you know, senior, uh, uh, and senior uh, advisors slash uh, uh, executives to the table. And, and you're right, 5G is going to be huge. <clears throat> We've got several uh, ORAN companies that want to talk about ORAN and what the solution is and how it's going to be deployed and what are the needs. And, you know, we even have a, uh, one breakout session on the very thing that you mentioned is how do you sell uh, 4G technology and 4G network uh, services when everyone is talking about a 5G world. <clears throat> and in rural America, uh, everyone knows that 5G is, um, is a technology uh, with low latency, it doesn't necessarily mean that it has a higher capacity, especially if you're on a lower band, say you're on 600 megahertz band, uh, yes, it gets great uh, you know, uh, uh, configuration and, and coverage, but uh, it's not, on the speeds, it's not that different from some of the uh, uh, 4G, LTE, Bolte, Advanced. So <clears throat> how do you migrate onto that? And then of course, what do you do with your devices? How do devices operate on 4G and 5G? And when are you going to have devices that are <clears throat> all 5G? So the business plan and some of the, the, the concepts that our carriers are using to uh, ensure that they have this you know, continuity of services, but they also give the, the customer in rural America that 5G uh, uh, capability. Uh, is going to be, uh, I mean, that's a transition that everyone has to make. And uh, it seems like 4G came, but it's not gone. Uh, most people will tell you we got another decade of 4G capability out there. And, but everyone wants to get to a 5G, uh, you know, the, 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 the hype on the 5G. Everyone wants to get to a 5G type of service. And that's where ORAN, I think, uh, will bring a lot of uh, unique type of, uh, capabilities to uh, to these smaller carriers because most of them will go into a, a, a 4G slash 5G uh, assisted 5G before they go into a 5G standalone network. So we're going to have a lot of discussion about that and hopefully our carriers, the CTOs uh, are going to have some, uh, I'm not an engineer, but I think they're going to have a lot of discussions, uh, uh, very detailed discussions uh, in these uh, breakout sessions. So yeah, we're, we're really excited about the process and, uh, and with it, we're going to try to pack all these things together in one day. And then, you know, we're, it's going to be recorded and we're in, and we'll make that available for the next several months. So they, and that's the other thing is since it's virtual, uh, there's, there's no registration cost for uh, people that want to, come and join. So we hope that we'll get even a broader uh, crowd of, of uh, uh, carriers. You know, I, I've always said if, if you're a small carrier, it doesn't matter if you're in Canada or Pacific Island or Latin America or Africa, small carriers have the same problems no matter where they are. We hope we're going to be able to bring some of those solutions to the light for everyone.
exciting stuff. We're looking forward to joining you guys on October 21st then. Um, and that sort of runs through all the questions that I had today, Steve. Thank you so much for taking the time to catch up with us. Oh my goodness, thank you. And uh, thanks for giving us an opportunity to talk about the virtual show. I, 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 I'm very hopeful that we're gonna get um, a lot of interest, uh, high level interest in, um, in the topics and hopefully the subject matter is going to uh, be everything that you identified here uh, in, in more detail and depth. So thank you. Thank you.